Yes, I, brothers and sisters, lovers, haters, boys, girls and vibrations, hope everybody's well. Love and light to you all. Firstly, I want to thank everybody that uh, came from Carlisle to watch us. 175 tickets I sold, you know, I was pleased with them numbers. Um, I want to thank all my sponsors who I displayed on my fight gear. I want to thank everybody that uh, tuned in and, and watched the show. I thought it was a cracking show. I was, you know, proud and privileged to be a part of it. Um, some good fights on. You know, my opponent, Darren Godfrey. You know, he didn't give us the fight I was looking for. But, you know, I salute him and I give him credit for taking the fight on three weeks' notice as a stand-in. You know, because it's seeming like I'm more and more difficult to match. Um, you know, we've had four pullouts now in the last two fights. And um, like I say, it's, it doesn't seem like I'm very easy to match. But um, it was what it was. The plan was to, you know, put it on him 70, 80% in the first round and see how he handled it. You know, and he, he couldn't handle what I was offering him. But, you know, it was what it was. I'm not taking too much from that victory because, you know, you can't. Um, for what it's worth, I've never went into a ring before having that level of admiration, what I had for Darren Godfrey. You know, the couple of brief encounters I had with him at the weigh-in and on the run-up to the fight, I couldn't help but think, what a nice lad, you know. And I could just tell immediately that he was good stuff. You know, and he is good stuff. And um, I'm going to meet up with him next week and we're going to go for some food. And uh, his last was a cracking lass as well. You know, they were a good couple. You know, we got on with them well. Fair play to him. So if you're watching this, Darren, thank you, mate. Um, you know, and good luck in whatever you're doing. And I'll see you next week, Java. Um, aye, listen, I was I was pleased to get him out with there. With, you know, not a scratch on us. My hands are fine. You know, it was a lot of work going into the camp for what it was, but, you know, when there's not having any setbacks and not drinking and all this stuff, my fitness is only, it's only raising, you know, it's only raising the bar, you know, on my level of fitness. So I can start training again next week. I only need a week off. I've got the bends all next week. So I only need a week off. I'm just chilling. I don't need the week off. I'm taking the week off. Doing the school run, taking the bends to Blackpool next weekend. And um, I'll probably be in the gym Monday, following Monday. Back at it. Um, staying in shape all year round now. You know, there's no, like I've said, setbacks. There was plenty of triggers on uh, on Saturday night, obviously, because the, all the old crowd and that were there. We're never actually quite bumped into after the fight, but the atmosphere, and when you get a buzz like that and you're a, an addict, you know, it, it's hard not to, uh, not to be thinking about drinking substances because they were on my mind. I'm not saying the desire or the temptation was ever going to get the better of us, but it was definitely on my mind. So the biggest buzz for me of Saturday was getting out the ring and embracing my 17-year-old daughter who come to watch us with a boyfriend, you know, and my lass that I love. You know, that was the biggest buzz for me. You know, I had a beautiful reception. I was very grateful for the everyone's kind words and that after it. You know, a lot of people wanting pictures and stuff, which was nice. But um, to be driving out of there... An hour after my fight, driving home, you know, clean and sober, stopping for junk food and vapes. You know, that was a, that was a buzz in itself, you know, at full health. You know, no, um, no, like I've said, lumps, bumps, bruises, lacerations. My hands are fine. You know, the punches that I did hit him with, you know, they were right on the button. So, you know, those punches, don't re they don't really hurt your hands. The last punch that I hit him with the uppercut was a good solid shot and it was right on the chin. And, um... You know, that, that was all she wrote. But um, massive shout out to everybody, like I've said. I'm very grateful. You see, I never had my phone in my hand. Well, hardly. From Thursday, Friday and all Saturday. I did upload a couple of videos, but like that's all I've done. I never checked the feedback on them without that. I just uploaded them and, and let them play. And I checked a bit of feedback on that this morning. And we've seen this, uh, <laughs> what should I call him? Baby Dick. Because that's what he's known as is in his own area, Baby Dick, the two-inch thumper from Kuala Lumpur. Um, and I heard that he was saying stuff, was it on the Thursday, I think, 
whenever I heard it, I thought, right, I'm, you know, and I'm too long in the tooth to be watching that stuff before the fight, you see. You see, what, what I have and what we have and what everyone has as people is moments, moments in time, moments in our life. This moment now I'm deciding to, you know, come on and thank everyone and talk about Saturday night in the last previous couple of days. That's all we have. Moments, they're the only things that we truly own ourselves. They're the only things that we can call ours because all this stuff that's in my house and everything that I've got, cars and a couple of quid tucked away, all that stuff, you know, it, it doesn't have much meaning. It's nice, but it doesn't really mean anything. You know, you can't take none of it with you. It's not like there's some container where you can pack all your belongings into and take it off to the next life. You know, it's all going to go to somebody else or become, you know, gone or disintegrated, diminished, some men were going to go to your kids, whatever. But it's not It's not true worth. What we have and what we own is moments in time. You know, and those moments running up to that fight when I'm getting myself into, you know, psychological preparation, you know, they're my moments, you know, and I own them. And nobody's going to take them away. But I did decide to have a little look this morning and um, I couldn't keep the smile off my face. You know, he's not really a character to be taken too seriously. But because I'm tired and I need an early night and I only got about four hours sleep last night, I'm going to tear him a new one in the morning. How's that? So once again, big thank you to everybody. I am tired. I'm going to get my head down. God bless you all. Bye-bye for now.